say as someone who's quite confident and knows what they're talking about and someone who can stand up for what they believe in as well. Educated, fair. Someone who is really smart and would think about what many people would think about the laws. Someone who has the people's best interests in heart. I think of like a lord as maybe someone that's like high up but also may be like a normal person as well. It's always like older kind of Lord Shura, um, people like that, rather than the younger generation. The white hair, the wigs, they're really tall. Old, I guess. He's had, you know, life experience and stuff. A very white, older, middle class background. It's not very representative from what I know of it. Uh, I think they, they can have a variety of backgrounds, can't they? Because it doesn't matter about your background, it matters about the person who you are. Quite rich, middle class. Probably quite a wealthy one, and maybe middle class or higher. Does the Queen pick you? Or is it Parliament? I don't know. I think the Queen does it. She comes up to you with a sword or something like that, she calls you the Lord. Some of them are hereditary, so from passed down through generations, but then there's new ones that are elected by other people in their houses. People get voted for, but also I know people are nominated to go into the House of Lords. I think they care about themselves, really, first of all. Maybe they think about laws that should be put in place or maybe laws that should be removed. Well, a broad range of issues, really. I mean, any, anything that the government is doing, then the House of Lords needs to stick its nose in. They care about mostly, like, world issues and stuff to do with Britons. Like if we're in a safe community and just stuff like financial stuff. I hope they care about us and what we think.